What's that? A man with a machete tattoo on his face attacking someone with a machete? Shocking, right? A crime against fashion and against a person. Allegedly. Everything here is allegedly. Our subject, who we'll call Couch, because that's his name, last name, let's not get weird, was having a little party at the victim's house, which is already questionable because of COVID, but I don't really expect someone with a machete tattooed on their face to be making the best life choices. The victim arrived at the house, discovered the party, and began arguing with Couch, which isn't unreasonable. Who are these people? Why are they in my house? How have you not gotten that tattoo removed from your face yet? The argument moved outside and Couch told the victim to leave, which is essentially a trespass notice that Couch has no authority to issue or enforce. And when the victim tried to re-enter his own home to get his wallet and phone so he could leave, Couch attacked him with a machete. And here's where the police department statement stops making sense to me. The victim, apparently passed out, woke up and walked a few streets over to where Couch was now at. Did, did nobody at the party see him on the ground bleeding? How did he know Couch had gone to the other house? Did Couch just leave the guy on the ground, passed out? And then, when he got to the house, Couch apparently brought him to a friend's house, and the friend drove the victim to the hospital. But, according to the police statement, the friend said he picked up the victim at the house Couch was already at. Maybe. The, the whole statement issued by the police is a bit of a mess. But if there's anything we can learn from this situation, it's this. If a man with a machete tattooed on his face doesn't let you into your own home, maybe call the police to help resolve the situation.